Hey folks, we actually have a nice little unboxing video that I'm about to film um, and it's, well, let's just say it's something I've been waiting on for a little while. I actually ordered it a little while ago during the, the little lockdown with the limit and uh, just picked it up as well as a few other things, but the other things aren't for me. So I'm not going to open everything in the box, but just so you all have an idea, these things here, oh, but that's all you're going to see for now. All right. Um, I'm not high, like I said, the other items aren't mine, but I'm gonna open the items up for me right after the credits. So here we go. Thanks for joining in again. And here we have one of the items that I am so happy to be opening right now. Um, based on the <laughs> size of the box and i guess maybe those of you who already saw the title of the video you oh whoa ooh hey, hey, hey. wow yeah i didn't think the box would open that easily and i would get it out but um yes here we have the aqualung uh it's a sheep foot uh squeeze lock knife i can't what's wow i'm so excited about this i just forgot everything about the knife but okay wow here it is this is cool excuse me small sneeze there Ooh, this is a nice knife so to explain a little bit about this knife uh, basically this is an aqualung knife and knives are pretty important when we're diving because they can help get us out of um, tight spots Let's say you have fish in line that's hooked up on your on your wetsuit or on your equipment or something. You can cut it off with this. There's a different a couple different areas where you can cut fish in line from. There's also this little serrated edge here that you can use to, you know, if for some reason you need to cut through uh, neoprene or something, the serrated edge would be perfect for that. You also have a straight edge here as well, and um, I believe you can also use this to open a, a bottle of beer. <laughs> of course, that's not what it's for, but um, this is a nice knife that, wow, I like this. Um, this is not what I initially planned on getting, but uh, based on the price at the time through my um, the my local Aqualung distributor, it uh, turned out to be the best deal for me. Now, knives are also important. Uh, the back of the knife is normally this solid material here, and if I knock it on my desk, Kind of solid so you can imagine taking this and knocking it on your tank so you can actually take the back of the knife and knock here on the tank and it could probably be used to signal other divers um the squeeze here is like a safety feature it's something that um different companies have but aqualung patented theirs and you can probably see there are these little hooks there so if i take it and insert it into the sheath you make that nice clicky sound it's secure this you can't you can't just knock this out. You need to actually hold it, squeeze, and remove. Now it's easy to remove, which is good because you want to be able to easily remove your knife with one hand. And put it back in, and that's it. It's really simple. You have these little um, grommets here as well that you can use to attach it to your BCD. Um, of course, based on the type of BCD you're using, so, okay, so the box here mentions the Argonaut Stunt Dive Knives. I mean, this is not exactly what I ordered. Um, well, let me rephrase that. What they say in the box is not what I, what I got. What I got here is a big squeeze knife, but inside the box they have a different uh, bit of text, which is fine because it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Uh, simple warning here, the knife is extremely sharp and I can attest to that it is very sharp you must keep them out of reach of children so i'm guessing you know the safety feature here where you have to squeeze to remove also helps keep it um keeping it helps when you want to keep it safe from kids but it's easy to remove so still keep it away from them somewhere that's properly probably um maybe securely locked or something that you know they can't get into but this is a nice knife and it's definitely a useful piece of equipment you might find uh uh, an animal that, uh, let's say it's something that's protected, that is affected by some kind of ghost gear. 
and so on. And while you're not supposed to touch the wildlife at any point, um, maybe if you're able to release the animal safely in a manner that does not um, offer, you know, cause any type of harm or distress to the animal, maybe at that point you can assist by uh, cutting a piece of ghost net that was left behind by some old, um, some older fishermen. When I say older, I mean fishermen from before, not necessarily their age. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a knife. Um, uh, wow. There, there are, yeah, and again, there are some people would say that you shouldn't. You don't need to use a knife that often. There's another another YouTuber I looked at, and he was saying basically that um, with the knife, he would only ever use his knife to cut oranges for people after dives. Don't use your dive knife to cut oranges. Use another knife to peel and cut your oranges. Your dive knife is to be used when you're underwater for cutting lines and so on. It's not even something to be used for self-defense, really. I mean, if, if you're in that position, you probably could, but this is not for that purpose. It is designed to, to be used for, for cutting different things that uh, divers could encounter that could be hazardous. You, know, you might get tangled in kelp, you might get tangled in, in um, some old uh, fishing line, like I said, an old net or something. And that's when you'd use this to, you know, to you know, re remove some of those lines. So this is, this is nice. This was a good purchase. And next up, we have my dive computer. I bought this dive computer a little while back. Um, again, I couldn't get it shipped um, in a timely manner because of the, the global situation that we're all dealing with. Um, a computer is one of the first items you should purchase as a diver once you can afford it of course um they're not cheap i mean you, mean, you can get one for like a reasonable price but in generally not cheap oh whoa hey, hey hello uh they was not expecting this oh i got my compass okay we'll we'll get to the compass in a bit <laughs> um for now let's just look at the dive computer so this oh let me see what else is in the box um Okay, uh, some information on storage and how to activate it. These things are important. You should read them before um, putting them into storage anyway. Uh, we have here some information. Okay, the Divalog Plus app. I actually have this app already on my phone. Um, I use it. I enter the data manually on my first four dives. Uh, the manual here, and I'm guessing there's something with some software. It feels like there's a... Is there... Okay, there's a CD here with software. Um, I'm not going to use that because I don't have a CD-ROM drive on any of my computers. Uh, but I have the software already installed from uh, downloading it because I knew this is what I'll be getting. Okay, now how do I get into this? Ooh. Oh, here we are. Oh, there's more, more stuff to read. And again, these things are important. Read your manuals properly. They're very important if you want to, you know, um, understand the device that you're using as a diver um, before you're actually on a dive. You don't want to go on a dive somewhere while on vacation and have to ask the tour operator, hey, uh, buddy, can you help me with this computer? He probably never saw your computer before. Maybe he did, but you shouldn't be asking the, the instructor, the sorry, the dive tour operator about that. Um, so let's take a, a little closer look at this dive computer. This is the I Aqualung I200C. And normally when you see that, that letter at the end, you see that's to, to say that it's, um, there's some level of um, connectivity that can take place. This can sync with Bluetooth to mobile phones to update your data right after your dive. Um, you know, you, you do your dive, all your data, your, your log, instead of just putting it manually into a logbook, this sends it straight to the mobile phone. Um, this one came with a special band that paid a little bit extra to get this band. It's the, it's called the NATO strap. Uh, I can I take this off? How do I? Yeah, it's it's a little. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. And one of the good things with this design, the watch style computers, is you just wear it all the time, and you know it's a good conversation starter when someone realizes that hey, that's not a normal watch. That watch has some special features. Uh, also, it's pretty more pretty convenient when it's time to travel, because. You have, um, uh, you don't have to worry about packing a dive computer in a bag. You just, it's on your wristwatch when you're about to board the plane. Wow, planes, I haven't been on one in a while. Um, 
Yeah, so I mean, I, I still need to go through all the details on this one to figure out how to use it properly because I like, I just got it. Um, they come in a lot of different colors from Aqualung. It's in the vicinity of about uh, 350 US dollars thereabouts. The knife, oh, I, I can't remember the price on the knife, but I will be putting the prices for these items in the description. Um, I really can't remember. There's a little piece of plastic here covering the screen. I'll, I don't want to remove that yet. Um, four buttons to operate the dive computer. And of course, these dive computers can be used uh, with different gas mixes. Uh, they could be used with oxygen only, um, nitrox. Uh, they could be used for free diving as well, you know, to keep track of um, your depth and so on. So how these work, they, they basically calculate the stuff on the dive tables for you. So what you will see happening is as you are diving and using the computer, the computer is going to give you little notifications at different points and it will tell you, well, okay, um, it's time to go and do that mandatory safety stop. And then when you get to the safety, safety stop, it will tell you again, hold up, buddy. Don't go up yet. Wait for a few minutes. And after your safety stop is done, you go up safely. These things can save your life. Uh, and this is one of the better ones you can get at this price range. You can get cheaper ones as well, but they may be lacking some of the features like the Bluetooth connectivity. Um, there are some that are a little bit better than this one at all. So for air integration, uh, I didn't bother to get an air integrated computer as yet. I will eventually, but given that it's my first computer, I, I felt this was a good starting point. The Aqualung i200C. It goes with a lot of my other kit, most of which is Aqualung. And now, the surprise i did not expect this at yet as yet uh this is my compass and where's i had a pair of scissors here earlier yeah i could probably use a knife to cut this but no that's not what it's for just let me cut this properly and avoid cutting my fingers off all right so i ordered a compass that i'll need to affix to my regulator here we go, here we go. Ooh, this is, all right. Uh, is it, is it pointing north? I don't know, is it? Not yet. Oh, yeah, there we go, it's working. So this is the Aqualung um, compass that has to be attached to the BCD. Uh, no, sorry, well, to the, to the regulator, the, in fact, to the console gauge. At the back of the console gauge, there's this white area that you will need to in fact you know what i have a better idea my regulator is right here so why not right why not can't exactly go into the water these days uh, but <clears throat> i can so this area here uh, to the back here, I'll need to remove this and place the um, the compass in it. Um, I'm not going to do it now, but I just want you to see. Uh, this comes out, or it, it comes out and it's replaced by this here. And, you know, it's pretty useful. Your compass, well, a compass, you use it to get your bearings when you're underwater. Uh, you can use it above water as well, of course, but this one is, I'm going to be using it primarily underwater, not primarily. 100% under the water. Some of the dive computers that you can buy will have a compass integrated. Even if you have one integrated, uh, digital one, you should have an analog one as well. You don't have to worry about batteries with analog gear. So compass, my uh, depth gauge, air gauge, and so on, all those things are analog with me, but I also have my dive computer that's given me some of the same information, but just in a digital format that can go directly to my computer after my my dive log app on my mobile phone after so that's it for my unboxing um i'm happy i'm so happy i got my stuff Yay! yeah here we go you call that a knife i do this is i just love that clicking sound it just sounds so right um what i'll need to test as well is uh, i'll need to make sure I, you know, holding it with my glove is not a difficult uh, process because you want to be able to comfortably use your equipment, all diving equipment, with or without gloves because you never know what situation you'll be in. Um, you know, so 
Uh, and I think I spoke enough. I really want to start playing around with this this watch here, this dive computer. Um, wow, this is cool. Yeah, so the, yeah, it's not the normal strap. It's it's different, but it's, it's so cool. All right, so that's it for me. Stay safe and stay safe. Yeah, just stay safe. What else do I need to say? That's it. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.